of these kind of pickle looking sea creatures have been showing up in the waters off Oregon's coast is something researchers have never seen before and now they're scrambling to find out what's going on. KGW's Keely Chalmers is live in Newport tonight at the Hatfield Marine Science Center and Keely a lot of these creatures have been washing ashore. Yeah, that's right. You know, scientists here say they've been getting a lot of calls from beachgoers reporting these things washing up on the beaches. Now, the good news, they are not harmful to touch. But with so many of these creatures taking over our coastal waters, scientists here want to know what's going on. Their natural color is uh, this pink color like this. Inside this laboratory, oceanographer Rick Broder is working to solve a mystery. When I first saw it, I didn't even know what it was. What is bringing massive amounts of these sea creatures to the waters off Oregon's coast? These are very rubbery and kind of an interesting feel, a little bumps on them. They're called pyrosomes and are normally found far offshore in the tropics. But they started showing up by the millions off Oregon's coast last month. As an example, we had a, um, a cruise out last month where they did a, uh, a five minute tow and they collected about 60,000 of them. The creatures look sort of like a translucent pickle, but each one is made up of hundreds of individual organisms. It was kind of like, what's going on? Why now? Why are they here? Oregon State University researcher Jennifer Fisher and her colleagues shot this video of the creatures last month. We hooked up this um, GoPro camera to a net and we sent it down in the water and we were just dumbfounded at how many organisms there were. Fisher believes the warmer ocean temperatures of recent years may have brought the pyrosomes here, but perhaps not for long. She points out during a research trip just last week, she found significantly fewer of the creatures. They seem to have either died or potentially moved further offshore or into a different region, but it could be something that they're just patchy and we just didn't get them on that night. Which is why these scientists will be setting out on a lot more research trips in the coming weeks to find, capture, and study these mysterious creatures and find out once and for all why they are here. Because they shouldn't be here. It's not a normal situation. And one concern out here is that if all the pyrosomes die at once and decompose out there in our coastal waters, they could end up sucking up a lot of the oxygen and that could in turn create a dead zone for other marine life. But folks here are certainly keeping their fingers crossed that these creatures just move away oh. naturally. Huh. Back to you. All right. Well, we'll see. Interesting, Keely. Thanks very much. You can see the weather out there, too. Yeah, a little yeah. sucked in yeah. there in Newport today. Big, big time.